hello my friends welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here my name is Amy and I am a cruelty free makeup enthusiast so today is a shop my stash for the month of October I'm going to be showing you hello some things from the previous month that I was using what I'm going to take out put in and then some stuff that I'll definitely be using for the month that will most likely carry into November because I have a lot of fun fall stuff so to get started let's go into this corner right here so things that aren't really changing are the three mascaras that I'm using. I love all three of these mascaras, these two in particular. This one I've really enjoyed. Uh, this was sent to me from Influencer. This is the Urban Decay Lash Freak. I have my Ride or Die to Face Better Than Sex. And then my new favorite mascara of the year, which is the Marc Jacobs At Lashed Mascara. So I've had these open for, um, these two have been open for about two months now, but I'll continue using them for one more month and then this one I just opened this past month so I'll be using these so these are all my folly kind of like lipsticks that I'm definitely going to be focusing on for the month or they're just lipsticks that I really enjoy um, to start us off I'm gonna have my black moon cosmetic lipsticks this one is dusk which is like a beautiful kind of um, terracotta deeper brown nude and then I have my Autumn Trio. So this one's like a red orange. This one is kind of like a cider shade. And then this one is green right here. So I'm definitely going to be using all these because they're just screaming fall to me. I have a Bare Minerals Bare Pro lipstick. This one is in Spice. So a nice spicy nude for the fall. I'm going to be taking out one of my... Oops, <laughs> One of my Ritual Defee lipsticks. So these are so pretty. I love this color too. Look how beautiful that is. I just love that shade so much. So it's kind of like almost like a, a purpley shade. And then speaking of some kind of purpley, cooler tone shades, I have these two um, shades here from Lunatic Cosmetic Labs. This one is Lacrimosa, which is like a really pretty shade for Halloween. It's got sparkles in it, which I really like. And then I also grabbed Bruja. Who doesn't want to wear a cooler toned purple for Halloween? So taking that out as well. I have three lip glosses here. These are from Bite. These are no longer sold, but they're beautiful coffee lip glosses. So as you can see, they get like pretty light and then deeper and then this kind of like middle toned one here. So these are the shades Dirty Chai. And then we have French Press. I think this one is called Flat White. These smell so good too. Oh no, Vanilla Latte, that's what this one's called. Then this Too Faced Pumpkin Spice lip gloss, I'm definitely gonna be wearing this. And then this is my Persona lip gloss in Honey. I love this shade so much. It's such a beautiful, like middle toned kind of nude um, with that honey shade there. So it's so beautiful, I love the formula. And then, oh, how could I forget? I have to wear my new Too Faced Pumpkin Spice. This is the Liquid Matte Pumpkin Spice. So this is newer this year, so I absolutely have to wear it. And it looks like I actually spilled wax on it, so that's fun. Two more lipsticks. I know, it's a lot of lipsticks. <laughs> I'll probably be wearing a lot of these into November as well. This is the ColourPop Electric Feel Matte. I love this because it's kind of peachy toned, but it's a little bit deeper. So I'm gonna be wearing that one. And then I have this beautiful one from Drew Barrymore's line, Flower, and this is Autumn Rose. It's a beautiful rosy tone lipstick. Let's move on to the powders and face products. So what I was using, I finished up for a primer. I was using the Fourth Ray Turmeric Face Milk. This is so good for brightening. So now that it's done, I'm gonna put it in my empties. I am going to continue using this sample that I got. This is from Bite. This is their Changemaker Skin Optimizing Primer. This one's for the normal to oily skin tones. So I tried this only once and I liked it um, from the first time I tried it. So I'm gonna keep using it. I am going to put in this primer in addition to it. This is the Good Molecules Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. I just really like the way that this makes my skin feel and primes the skin for makeup. So that will be going in. For setting powder, I'm going to continue using the one that I've been using. Once I use this up, I'm never going to repurchase it because I don't support this brand anymore. But this is the JSC Magic Star Powder that's really, really nice, actually. So I'm just going to continue using it till it's all done. This is the last thing that I own from this brand, so I'm just going to use it up and then get rid of it afterwards. 
I'm going to continue using, this is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Pressed Powder. This is such a good pressed powder formula. I feel like it's not too heavy in any way. It really just blurs out the skin. I like that it's light. It doesn't look cakey. So I'm going to continue using this. For the third powder that I'm going to be using is another pressed powder. This is the Lunatic Cosmetic Labs Mystifying Mattifying High Definition Micro Finish Pressed Powder. Try saying that three times fast. But I have a major pan in it. I love this. It's one of my favorite mattifying powders. So usually I start using this kind of halfway through the day just to eliminate some shine. For my setting spray, I'm going to be using the Pacifica Cherry Matte Setting Spray. I only have about this much left, so once this is done, I will pull another one from my collection. So now for other face products that I've been using last month, I had the Pacifica A Light Clean Foundation that I had pulled. I love this foundation. So I'm going to continue using this in the rotation this month. I'm also going to continue using my Urban Decay Stay Naked. So this is a really great, like, weightless liquid foundation. As you can see, I've used a lot of it. So I'm just going to continue using both of these along with their kind of corresponding um, concealers. So I have the Stay Naked Correcting Concealer and I have the Liquid Cover Full Coverage Concealer. So those are what these look like. I am going to add just one more option in because I like to mix everything up. So because I'm using the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder, I'm going to throw in for lighter days the Clean Fresh Foundation, which I love as well, and the concealer. So these are for like more lighter days when I'm kind of in a rush. Those will be added into the mix. So now for things that I was using for kind of bronzing and blush and highlight, I was using several things. I started trying out this new Jouer powder highlighter. It's a beautiful formula. This is in the shade Rose Quartz. It has like a very pretty rosy, almost lilac effect to it. I love this a lot. I think I'm going to put it back in my makeup drawer for now, just so I can switch stuff up. For another highlighter that's going to go back, this is the Bare Minerals Highlighter in Fierce. So this is a little bit more of a bronze bronzy shade, which is really pretty for summer. I kind of carried into using it into September, but I think it's finally time to go back into my makeup drawer as well. The Dose of Colors, this is the Katie Desi Fuego highlighter, which is a really beautiful gold. I'm actually going to continue using this. I really like this highlighter and it's starting to get a bit older, so I'm going to continue using it for when I want like more of a gold kind of look. So I'm just going to keep this here for now. For bronzer this past month, I was using my Too Faced Natural Lust bronzer. I think this is one of the most prettiest things that I own, and I love the formula on this. I love it because it has the matte color, but then a little bit of shimmer in the peacock, so I like mixing it together, particularly in the summer months. I kept using this into September, but I think now it's time to switch it up, so I'm going to put this back in my makeup drawer as well. Then there's one of my favorite blushes. This is the Red Apple Girls blush in Got a Glow. This is a really beautiful peachy pink shimmery blush and I can't believe I forgot to talk about this when I was reviewing my blush collection in my previous video. It was sitting there with all the other blushes and I just completely went over it and forgot to talk about it. All right, and the last two things I have here are my Well People Bio Bronzer Stick. You guys have seen this month after month because I only use it sometimes. I did use it today, in all fairness, so I still have this much. I'm going to continue putting it in my basket until it's done. Then I have this KVD Blush on Crush. This is actually a really fun blush and highlighter duo. I just took this out kind of later in the month of September. I started playing with it just because I like the deeper colors here. So I'm going to continue using this for the month as well. So for one more single blush, I'm going to put in the Milani Baked Blush and Luminoso. This is an OG peach blush and a favorite of mine. Then for just kind of all around face stuff, I'm going to take out my Lunatic Cosmetics. This is the Pro Contour volume one palette. So I have all these different powders, including some bronzers and contour and a bunch of blushes to choose from. So I'm going to put this in the mix. I'm going to hopefully do some really fun Halloween looks with this too. For highlighters, I'm going to put another palette in. This is my Moonchild from Anastasia, and this just has really beautiful, mostly cool toned icy shades. And it's just so much fun because there's purple and blue and pink and green. So I'm going to be using these because I'm definitely going to be playing with more color this fall. And then two single highlighters. I'm putting in my Milani. This is the Strobe Light. It's a beautiful champagne shade. And then I'm also going to do my Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Powder. This is in Mercury. This is like a yellowish gold. 
really pretty. So we're going to use this as well. Are you guys ready to talk about all the eyeshadow palettes we're putting in the mix? This is probably the most I've ever done, but I have so many fun fall toned palettes that I just couldn't choose just a few and believe me I have even more so those will be held off until November but for now I'm going to be using my Too Faced Pumpkin Spice. This has been a really enjoyable palette for me this fall and I'm going to continue to use it. I just think it's so fun and has a lot of surprising fun colors in there. We're going to put an OG palette into the mix. This is my ColourPop Good Sport palette. This is a beautiful fall tone palette. This is one of my favorite palettes of all time, and I love the fun variety and color story in here. For a newer palette that I'm going to add into the mix, this is the Hocus Pocus Gather Around Sisters. So we have this right here. So fun. My friend Gina got this for me, so I'm so excited to play with this. Then we have the Nomad by Juvia's. This is my favorite Juvia's Place palette. I love it because the deep green in here, the mustard shades, and the browns are just really, really stunning. I love this palette a lot, so this is gonna come into the mix too. Then for another newer palette, this is the Natasha Denona Glam palette. This is such a beautiful, more cooler toned palette. There are some warm tones in here, warm tones in here, but I've been really enjoying using this palette, so I'm gonna continue using this. This is great for just a nice, natural, everyday look or a really glam look, so it's very versatile. And this is my first Natasha Denona product that I've ever had in my collection, and I've really been enjoying it. For something that's very old in my collection, the ABH Subculture Palette is another really beautiful fall-toned palette. As you can see, I have loved this very much over the years. It's starting to get a bit older, so I definitely want to focus on this palette, and I cannot wait to use this more during the season. So this one is a little Fall Feels palette from Tarte. I spilled powder on it and it won't come off the little flannel here, but this is really nice for just a really quick everyday look. I love the blush in here. I just kind of set my eyelid, I put this in the transition, and then I choose whatever colors I want on the lid. And these deeper colors go really nice in the crease as well. So I'm going to be using this one. I, of course, have to use my Lunar Beauty Moon Spell palette. This is just so absolutely beautiful. I actually am wearing this today, and I just think it is such a beautiful palette. Really fun for Halloween time. This is one of my favorite Halloween collections ever, so definitely going to be wearing this one. We have our Too Faced Pumpkin Spice palette. Now, this one is a limited edition palette from last year through HSN, and it's just fun because there's all these really beautiful orangey and warm tone shades, and I really love the metallic formula in this palette. So we're going to be using this. And just for the heck of it, let's throw in one more palette. This one I started to do as in a review, and then I still have really mixed feelings about it. This is for more brighter colors. This is the Colored Rain Juicy Boost. Unfortunately, when I tilted this upright the first time I used it, these kind of like metallic shimmery shades kind of crumbled and fell apart. I've only used the top section, which is the greens. I wasn't too happy about the pigmentation um, just because I know Colored Rain usually has really good pigmentation. I found these greens I needed a lot more um, to build uh, to get the depth of color I wanted. But I'm going to play with the pinks and the reds and this bottom row is really pretty for more natural and fall shades as well. So I'm going to be using this just for more color. Alrighty my friends, so this is my pretty much monthly, most likely will be going into November monthly makeup basket as well. Thank you so much for joining me. If I chose anything that you're going to be using this month, comment down below. And until next time, remember to stay compassionate and share. Bye!